Hey guys, welcome to IT Ninja and this is Ninja Nugget. In today's video, we're going to look at the latest release of Dell's Open Manage Enterprise Systems Management Software. Version 3.6 of Open Manage Enterprise or OME, as I like to say it all the time, um, brings with it a lot of enhancements and a few exciting new features that I would like to take you through in today's video. As you may know, Dell had recently announced the availability of their 15th G or 15th generation of PowerEdge servers. Open Manage Enterprise version 3.6 brings in support for these new 15 G servers now within the console. In version 3.6, Dell has made a lot of fine tuning and enhancement when it comes to reporting and overall layout of the assets within the panel, within the console of the application. Uh, there has been an enhancement to include SNMV v3 alert forwarding. And um, most importantly, if you are running the latest version of Dell iDRAC, which is version 4.40.10.10, you can now do the inventory, discovery, and monitoring of your server assets using the Redfish API. And now to the big ticket item, my favorite feature in Open Manage Enterprise version 3.6 and that is scope-based access control. Let's have an example. You have two data centers and two users who manage each of these data centers, one in Melbourne, one in Sydney. You need to limit the, the visibility of the assets. So a Melbourne uh, admin can only see the servers in Melbourne data center and a Sydney admin can only see servers within Sydney data centers. With version 3.6 of Open Manage Enterprise, we can now limit their views with a new kind of role called Device Manager. If a user is assigned a new, the role called Device Manager and assigned to a given scope or given collection of servers, he can only view and manage the servers within that scope. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's have a quick look in a demo on how this works. Starting with Open Manage Enterprise is simple. You can visit this URL to, to get to the section where you get the options to download the latest versions of Open Manage Enterprise. Here, you get the instructions to download a brand new appliance, as well as instructions to upgrade your existing versions of Open Manage Enterprise from version 3.5 and below. In my environment, I already have Open Manage Enterprise installed, so I will show you instructions how to upgrade them using the console. Upgrading your Open Manage Enterprise environment is really simple. Once you have logged on to your Open Manage Enterprise using an admin account, navigate to Application Settings and Consoles and Plugins section. If you haven't done so, click on the Refresh Update buttons, and you should now see up to four upgrades available. One of them will be the integrated upgrade package for the OS and the application for Open Manage Enterprise, and up to three plugin updates that are available with Open Manage Enterprise version 3.5 and below. The upgrade process will now kick in. One important thing to remember is while the upgrade is happening, there should be no jobs scheduled while the upgrade process is in progress. Once the upgrade happens and all the services restart, Open Manage Enterprise will return back to its login console. We can then go ahead and check off if the upgrade has been successfully applied, which we can see by the newer version of the appliance. We can now repeat the process of upgrading each of the plugins. Remember, the plugins are disabled while the upgrade happens. The process of upgrading each of the plugins is done one by one and is pretty much exactly the same.
the most important thing during this upgrade process is be patient. Do not click on things multiple times. You should now have an overall view of how the upgrade process works. Scope-based access control. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have logged in as an admin user and created two different static groups. One for Melbourne Data Center and one for Sydney Data Center. Each of these have one server assigned to them. I will create a new user with a user role device manager and assign it to one of these static groups that I had created before. So admin one will manage my Melbourne data center. and another user, admin2, which is managing my Sydney data center. Remember, the admin user, the standard admin user, can view, still view all the assets available within the console. We will now log off as admin and log in as admin1. As you can see, the user admin1 has only the visibility of his one device that has been assigned to him. And he can only see the groups available under the Melbourne data center. Nothing less, nothing more. Similarly, if we log in as admin2, the user will only be able to view his one device that has been assigned to him under the Sydney data center. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So here it was, a quick overview of Dell Open Manage Enterprise version 3.6. I would highly encourage you to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more goodies like this in near future. Until the next video, keep safe.